that. <laughs> Where did that come from? No idea. Uh, but I'm thinking, um, I don't know, the champagne, the view, Paris. Um, you haven't been uh, all this time, you know, you haven't been looking at me. No, 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 no. I mean, not that you're, you know. Right. Not... <laughs> what about you? Me. Or have you been thinking of me in any No, way? never. Not that you're oh, not. It's the champagne. It's good stuff. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Definitely the champagne. Yeah. So now what? What the hell was that? You kissed me. I didn't see you trying to stop me. I'm sorry. I must be drunker than I thought. There's there's no way that I would ever... Oh, really? Just, please accept my apologies. I didn't know what I was doing. Hmm. Could have fooled me. Can't take back that kiss. What do you mean? Gigi, we're in Paris. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say we go back to my room, rip off all our clothes, and have wild French sex? That kiss was an impulse because we, where the hell is Echo Di Savoy? She's supposed to tell me something about my parents. You're gonna blame that kiss on Echo de Savoy? No, I'm just not myself because of Echo de Savoy. Well, yourself is not to blame. I'm the one who leaned in first. I kissed you back. Yeah, you did. I shouldn't have. Why? Because I'm with Gigi. Yeah, she's in Paris. Yeah, doing who knows what with some Frenchman. What if Gigi's so mad at me for telling Adriana that we haven't had sex yet that she jumps on the first guy she sees? Christian? You're engaged to Layla, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Don't think she does. Sure she does. Then where is she? Huh? I, I, I fly halfway across the world to be with her and she dumps me for some Milanese male models. Milanese male models. <laughs> it's not so easy to say when you've had as much champagne as we've had. Milanese male models. And besides, you know, I, I paid a small fortune to upgrade to a, a king-size bed and, and, and a hot tub and, and a view of the Eiffel Tower. Now why should we let all that luxury go to waste, huh? You know what? It would serve Rex right after what he did to me. You know what? I can see her now sitting on the lap of some champagne-swilling, brave, sporting frog-eating French guy in a cafe on the West Bank. Left Bank, in this case. Wherever. Woo! Gigi will get over it. So you were a little indiscreet with Adriana, so what, who cares? You don't know, Gigi. That girl is stubborn and impulsive. She could be married and divorced by the time she gets back. Not that I don't have my moments. That kiss. I kissed you. Why did you? It was an experiment. I lost my spark. It's just gone. I, I was hoping maybe you could help me fire it up again. Rex can sleep with Kelly. I can sleep with you, right? So come on, let's light up that king-size bed and that hot tub filler up. Bring on the overpriced champagne because we're going to drown in it. You know, beer's got bubbles, too. His favorite beer. It'll serve him right. Yeah, Layla, too. Her and her Maltese models. Millionese. Yeah, them too. When did you get so sexy? Me? I don't know. Maybe it's the champagne. It's working. You wanna do this? What are you talking about? You've got a ton of spark. Look at you! Yowza, you're hot. <laughs> Sorry, no sale. Why not? Because you haven't gone skydiving in the last week? Or bungee jumping? Or tornado tracking? I'm a reporter, not a weather girl. Yes, that's my point. You've got an awesome career. you got a smoking hot body in or out of a towel. Plus, you've got family, friends, money. you got it all. Then why do I feel so disconnected? <sighs> well, maybe because you're lonely. Lonely? I thought you just said I have work and family and friends. Right, but you said it yourself. There's no guy. 
Right. No guy. So maybe that's why you're a little drifty. That's exactly it. I'm drifty. I'm drifty. I'm drifty. I'm drifty. But you've got to know that you can have anybody you want. As long as they're available. Single, not married. Not I know what that word means. So get out there. As soon as you figure it out what it is that you want, it'll happen. Just like that. Just like that. So what are we going to do? We're going to go upstairs. What do you want to do? <laughs> I asked you first. So you really think I've got some spark? And then some. You know something, Rex? You are a pretty terrific guy. It's too bad you take it. You're smart. You're funny. You look good in or out of a towel. But you are Gigi. If she ever speaks to me again. Much as I'd love to test drive that hot tub with you in it. You're in love with Rex. And you're in love with Layla. Who I must say is crazy, because you're like ten times handsomer than any Milanese male model. And, you know, they're probably too into themselves to even notice her, so no worries, okay? I just miss her. I know. That's why I have to say no. You know, Rex, Rex is a lucky guy. I will remind him of that when I see him. Right after I kill him. Gigi is crazy about you. Yeah, so why doesn't she call me back? Well, I don't know. Isn't she working? Well, she's in Paris. It's the middle of the night with the time change. So? She's asleep. Thank you. What? For keeping me from doing something stupid. I mean, yeah, I'm mad at Layla. This trip meant a lot to me, but there's no reason to cheat on her. We're engaged. That's serious. I wouldn't know. You and Rex will get there. <laughs> Besides, it wouldn't be fair to you. I'm your boss. That's a that's a no-no. I guess we dodged a bullet. Yeah, we did. So, should we call it a night? If you want to. You couldn't have had that much fun. Echo bailed on you, Gigi sticked at you. Don't you want to go home and, like, channel surf? Come on, we're on a date. I can, forget it. You have already found your perfect woman. And I'm going to help you find yours. Man, that is. Unless there's something I don't know. He's a man. And you know what? I... I've already found him. Yeah? Yeah. Joey Buchanan. He was my first love. Echo. I'm almost sober. <laughs> Must be because we decided to behave ourselves. Can you picture it? You and me having wild, crazy sex in a Parisian penthouse. But when we got home, then... You're right. You're right. You're right. It's almost dawn. Time for bed. Do you really think I'm sexy? Very sexy. Do you think I'm handsomer than a... Milanese model? A million times. Handsomer. You see? That's sexy. And Rex knows it. You better. Joey Buchanan? I know that you were not a big fan of his because of everything that happened with Jen Rappaport. But we had a good thing. Way back when. When you first came to Landview. Oh, poor Joey. I had just gotten kicked out of boarding school. <laughs> and he was my tutor. And he had a kind of crush on me. Only I was crushing hard on David Vickers, if you can believe it. He was kind of cute back then. Not that he had much use for me. So I decided to throw myself at Joey. And I had this idea that he could help me get rid of my virginity. Anyway, I was a complete mess, and Joey had the good sense to say no, which probably had more to do with the fact that he was coming off an affair with Dorian than anything else. Dorian? Yeah. Dorian. Yeah, 
the Dorian Joey thing was kind of weird. Once Joey got past it, we were pretty happy. It was good. That's that. That's when I had the spark. When I felt like anything was possible. But then, once Joey left town, it, it kind of all went south for me. This will get him back. Joey? No. No, 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 no. Too much has happened. I was with his brother and his nephew. Well, that's all in the past, though, right? No. No, it, it's, it's too late. It's listen, too late. listen. I don't know anything about you and Joey. But I do know that I thought that I had lost Gigi for good. And look at us now. <laughs> or, well, next week when I talked her into forgiving me and she's <laughs> back. The point is... No, I, 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 I will think about it. All right, well, I, sh I should go track down Echo, see what I can pry out of her. Yeah, I'm gonna stay up here and clear my head. So we okay? Uh, that kiss this was my fault. Rex, you and I are friends, okay? We're gonna hang on to our towels from now on. <laughs> Good luck with Echo. Look, it's... Hey, it's me. I wish you were here. I wish you'd picked up. I wanted to say this to you and I, your voicemail. I love you, Layla. And I'm, I'm really sorry about the fight. I, I really am. No.